cast a bit. I was kind of hoping that um, that I could have casted this one, but we saw already a lot of the Syndicate Reborn, so I didn't want to... I guess I, I didn't kind of want to keep it going on them, like, consistently. Um, they're a great team, but there are a lot others. There, there are a lot more people in gold to get to, and that was kind of... That's kind of the... The motivation behind this, I guess you could say, casting other people, and then kind of doing these post-production casts. So you see here, it's it just paused it's completely in the uh, paused completely in the STV, and uh, I got that demo playback ready to go. So yeah, uh, oh, go ahead, man. Oh, I was just gonna say, even though this was not the featured match. Uh, we ended up seeing the the four two victory pretty decisive for bottom gun. I think this. Uh, I actually am not. I I'm aware of the outcome of the match, but I'm not exactly aware of how close it was or who made the plays or who didn't. But I have a feeling that this is going to be maybe a, a little bit more of an evenly matched showdown. Yeah. So I definitely think these two teams are pretty close. Bottom gun and top gun. I, I mean, it looked for. I mean, from the looks of it yesterday, the first round top gun took, and it looked like we were gonna get to see some pretty intense action. But bottom gun kind of got in stride and just ended up completely going through, winning the next four straight. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this one we are gonna see a lot of tight, tight points. I mean, Syndicate were born up until last week. They were. I mean, they lost a five four game on Gully Wash to Social Justice Warriors. Um, but other than but before that, they were like the team. They were they were the number one team this season. Um, and Apple was off to a rough start in the beginning of the season, but have come through with a uh, with a couple consecutive wins to to play Syndicate now and kind of find them find themselves back towards that upper upper start of gold, upper top, I guess you could say, of gold. Yeah, I think Apple was really kind of getting in the the swing of things in the first few weeks. Uh, that's been kind of a trend with the teams that American has put together over the seasons. Uh, no matter what happens in the beginning of the season, his teams always tend to come in, uh, whether it be from the start or in the middle of the season, they always end up being playoff teams. They always end up being contenders. And uh, I think they really got their, got in the swing of things in the past few weeks. Yeah, and shout out to American who uh, helped me just hit 100 followers. So uh, I nice. kind of, yeah, I kind of told him about it, and he sent a, sent the link around to a few friends. So uh, the casts, man, the casts are getting big, getting popular, and uh, excited to kind of branch out, expand a little bit more. Uh, if you are just joining us, Vipa is here casting with me. Hey. And uh, I think we're ready, probably ready to go. Are you ready to go, Vipa? I'm ready to go. All right, let's go, let's go. Give me one second. We're going to get things started here. It is a little tricky uh, because, we're obviously, we're not watching a live game, so we have to make sure we sync up our, uh, our STVs. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead. I ended up hitting play. Hope you received my message. I did. All right, perfect. So we're going on to our first mid here, and we're taking a look at Simon, who's coming through. Uh, over on the Apple side, who is not their normal demo, actually. And he's going to put a few sticks down and, and try to uh, try to see what he can get. Spec deck going in for a big bomb right off the start, but actually going down pretty quickly to uh, to Drunk Uncle, who was, uh, who was there to protect his medic. Vinny snagged a kill in the beginning of the round on Bunny, the opposing soldier. So already, already no soldiers to, to worry about in the beginning of the game. And there's Vinny getting another shot, this time on Simon. So no demo for Apple. Yeah, it looks like the Syndicate's going to be the team that's going to take the point here. It looks like, yeah, Smile's a little bit overextended, goes down to Exile. He's on that Quickie Bomb. Yeah, Exile's been running the Quickie Bomb a lot in, uh, in offensive kind of game modes, and um, de depending on what they're doing, and it's working out pretty well for him so far, and it's worked out for him the past couple of weeks, so hopefully we're going to see a lot of great plays uh, on that front. And Teddy has 100% Uber, so does Brulee. Uh, she did not go down in the in the initial exchange. Actually, Teddy gets hurt a little bit, and he's going to back off a bit from the point. So, I wonder if maybe Apple might be getting into a position here to uh, to push, but just haven't yet committed the uh, the players or found the picks that they're looking for. But it looks like Blinks is going to be the first one to get on the point with uh, American, 
And actually, here comes the Uber onto Simon from Cliff uh, from Brulee. Teddy uses Uber in response onto Exile, and they're going to push them back, but uh, not too much being taken by Apple on this Uber here. Yeah, good picks coming out of Apple here. Uh, they definitely made a good play coming across the left side of the point. Vinny was on the right side, and uh, they kind of snuck up, you know, avoided his sight lines and got a lot of a lot of ground for free, which is a nice place by them, and it ends up taking the point. But Relay goes down to a backstab by Chris18. Yeah, Chris is Chris is one of those spies you always got to look out for. He he doesn't play the gun spy. He's gonna be in and he's gonna play the class the the way it was designed. Uh, and then he's gonna pick off Brulee there. Smile is actually putting together a decent streak as well right now on a 5k. So uh, he's heating up right now. He's got to make sure maybe maybe Chris goes in for a sack on him or, or Vinny is able to counter snipe him with a buff. But uh, definitely got to be scared when a when a sniper is heating up here on uh, on Viaduct on Product. Sorry. That's that's what we're calling it these days. And actually, here's an Uber out of Teddy, who's going to use it, but Simon is going to kill Exile, who jumps in a little bit ahead of the Uber, and Simon's just going to pipe him to death. So uh, a couple players on point right now for the Syndicate, but Apple's going to have the numbers to be able to contest it. So they're going to hold on to this point, at least for the time being, and Teddy's just going to back off and, and hope to stay alive. Uh, down on 17 health now. But there he goes, Simon! Simon, who is filling in or maybe replacing ZZ, um, I'm not sure what's going on with their roster, but goes in and gets a, gets a few frags uh, on a sack play. Demo is a pick class. That's what they keep telling us. Yeah, that's not what you want to see if you're TS. 80 health demo overextending into your team. Gets two picks, but Simon hit the stickies. That's all it comes down to. I mean... Uh, they they weren't able to block him from from getting those sticks in and there smiles again he's just going off right now eight eight kills no one can kill him and actually here comes an uber out of out of apple i'm wondering uh if they have force or they just kind of wanted to use it to, to maybe punish a little bit but they didn't really get much off of that uber did you see anything that prompted the the use out of brulee no honestly i'm not quite sure what happened there Spec deck is dead, so it, he might have sacked for that force. But other than that, I, I, I don't know what could have happened. Yeah, and there's uh, there's Smiles killing Vinny, Vinny again. Uh, keeping an eye on the on the 10k cam. He's up to 9 right now. Yeah. Teddy is up on 100% on his Uber because uh, Apple kind of ended up giving them the Uber advantage just back here. They're able to take the point without using, which bodes really well for them. Um, so Apple is now, the ball's in their court, and they're going to have to figure out what they're going to do, either wait for their Uber, uh, they have a decent add uh, in time on the point, but, uh, but not yet, not yet being forced to uh, to really sack in and, and play that game. Yeah, they're playing a little bit of a dangerous game here, all clustering on this dispenser under cliff. This is really susceptible to demo spam, but it actually looks like they're going to get some time on the point here, and they do have the spy pick, so they don't have to worry about that. Relay being up on her Uber, that's one less thing she has to worry about. And, and Exile goes down there to a nice snipe. So, uh, Smiles, I guess he died there because that's starting a new one here, a uh, new kill streak. Here's an Uber trade onto the point. Looks like Teddy wanted to use that to block the point, but they weren't able to, to stop it in time. Point's going to go back into Apple's favor, and actually here is American in on Teddy, and he tries to get it, but Kai is going to be able to take him down. Uh, but I think Jaden is the spy right now, alias this Jose19, who's going to be able to uh, get that kill. Classic right Jaden. Jose... Jaden's one of those spies that, uh, he might, he's not always going for the huge knife plays, but he's never, his presence is never going to go away. He's always there with the gun, dealing damage. I'm sorry, you mean Jose19? I don't even know who... Yes, uh... Jose19. <laughs> Mystery Gamer. Mr. Gamer. So, uh, it looks like Syndicate Reborn's gotta have to do something. They're sacking in for the point. They might be able to take it here. Exile putting out some good damage, but here comes American in, uh, with help from his team. They're gonna... I think, I think, uh, Bunny had a conch there, sped everyone up. Yeah, that was a huge play, holding the conch. And there is American taking out Teddy right at the end. Uh, we've got a 1-0 from, uh, from Apple here. Yeah, I think, honestly, the, the big factor there is Smiles. I think he... Smiles is one of the most underrated snipers in gold this season, in my personal opinion. 
and he definitely he definitely showed his chops there. He put up a big 28 points. I think Top he probably had at least 15 kills, right? He had the 9k and like a 5k there. So, uh, so yeah, Smile is doing absolute work. We're into our next mid here, and Spectek actually manages to pick off Smiles right at the start. Vinny goes down too, but it looks like Syndicate knows that they need to do something to, to keep him down. They do lose a lot of players on this initial mid, and that's going to allow Apple to take the point really without much contention. Uh, Teddy does stay alive. He's going to be at a, just about the same on his Uber, 10% Oh, Simon's bombing in with the Kaber. He bombed in on the med. He got denied. <laughs> well, and there's Vinny finishing him off with the headshot. Tried to switch the cam in time, but it uh, looks like he wasn't really getting anything anyway. But I love it. I love the uh, aggressive demo plays. There is yeah. Vinny taking out Bunny um, up on the cliffside. I, I think uh, Apple is kind of showing, showing a little bit of hitting their stride here uh, with, with Simon on, on demo. Big, uh, big fracker class. They say those demos are. And uh, here's an Uber exchange on point. It looks like, I don't know, I, I really haven't seen who's going to get the better of it. Apple seems to be in a little bit of a better position. Oh no, they, they actually all backed off uh, from the point. Uh, their health was low and, and Zoidy on the point with a little bit of help is actually going to be able to take it for Syndicate here. Teddy goes down the Jaden backstab there. And then there answering back is Chris with a stab onto, uh, onto Brulee. Yeah, big plays coming out of the spies here. That's definitely a time you want to go in as a spy on the back end of a push. And Bunny's bombing in. What is, uh, let's see what Bunny's gonna get. Actually, uh, ends up dying on the point. Uh, I did just realize too, I didn't turn off the overlay. Uh, so it's off now. But hopefully it didn't affect too much, uh, too much of what you're seeing so far. Sorry for that, guys. Here is, uh, looks like here's gonna be a contention by Apple onto the point. American kind of goes flying in, but ends up going down to, uh, to Beanie and, uh, Simon going down to Exile. So maybe with a few players down, Syndicate can try to take the point here. Chris actually manages to take out Drunk Uncle as well. And uh, it looks like that's probably gonna be the cap here for Syndicate. Teddy with 100% Uber and Brulee. Oh, sitting back in the respawn about 50%, so it's going to allow Syndicate some, some time here to uh, to kind of regroup and take some time to off the point. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a, big, a big play from Teddy there, getting that saw off of Jaden. And uh, that Jaden went in about 10 seconds after Bunny tried to sack for the med, so I think there was definitely a miscommunication there. De they definitely could have had a shot at Teddy if they had waited and went at the same time, but... Uh, it doesn't always work out that way. I know that as playing a spy, it does not always work out. Yeah, and uh, well, the good thing is they did get the Uber out of out of the way here. Teddy was ended up using it, so uh, so Brulee now sitting at 100%, able to use it on her team. Uh, she's gonna try to bring some people in with the Uber, but looks like she might get caught out here and does go down to exile. And uh, I think Kai and Perception were helping out a little bit, uh, a little bit there, but. It might be a non-issue here because a lot of players from the syndicate are down, and uh, Apple just yeah, kind of including up. Teddy. He went down to another backstab. So, uh, so Jaden doing a lot of work there, and we, we have a pause? pause. Yep, looks like a pause from syndicate. Why, why do STVs uh, keep the pauses? That's a real question. Uh, that's the that's the real question here. Well, I don't know why they paused. I think. Uh, it doesn't look like a player dropped, but uh, that was that was uh, Teddy going down to to Jaden again. Then maybe it looks like they're having a little bit of trouble protecting their medic, so maybe they want to just talk about that. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, the good thing about the pause is it does give us a little bit of time to reflect on what's going on, and I think uh, it's something I kind of mentioned in my write up of this match is that's one of the syndicate's weaknesses protecting their medic. They haven't really been able to do that. Uh, much in the past few weeks, and, and it's showing right now because Jaden is absolutely all over them, um, doing a lot of work and, and keeping them down. Look at that, look at that shot right there. The bunny just sitting in midair. But, but yeah, so it looks like, I mean, Apple took the first round 1-0, uh, um, and we have actually almost dead even on the time, 123 and 124, so this round can already go either way. Uh, point is in Apple's favor. 
and it looks like not too much of an Uber ad is in uh, in the syndicate's favor. They, I mean, they're going to benefit because Brulee doesn't spawn for another five seconds, so that's probably going to help them out. But um, right now, Apple just doing doing a better job of of playing the game the way that they need to, and that is keeping keeping Teddy down and keeping those heels away from uh, from the syndicate team. Yeah, Viaduct really. The way to win Viaduct is just to make sure that you get the most out of your Ubers and trying to, you know, stuff the other team's Ubers and keep them from getting the Uber off as much as possible. And the smart teams will always try to protect their med and get their med out to retain advantage and stuff like that. And I could definitely see Teddy up with 5%. Oh, there's a, yep. Yeah, it looks they like we're unpaused here. But what I was going to say is that I, I could definitely see Brule coming up on crits here. So let's see if she does that. Nope, she's still on Uber. When both medics died pretty close there, I could have definitely seen a crits play being a thing, but neither medic chooses to opt for that. I wonder if we will see one uh, at some point during the game. It's it's kind of like one of those one of those things that you always keep under your hat there. Actually, there's Bunny taking out Beanie, and actually Teddy goes down to Simon as well, so uh, kind of like what we were saying. Uh, that time, it was just a really coordinated push there by Apple, and they, they managed to take out the the combo of of the syndicate and that's going to put a good ad back into apple's hands yeah now would be a good time for the syndicate to try to get some sacks in and try to maybe kill brulee and equalize but uh it looks like they're just gonna work with teddy's respawn and try to just play it slow and get some time on the point yeah, and uh, they really, they really do need. To... Actually, uh, here is the Uber. I'm just gonna interrupt myself. There's an Uber here out of, out of Apple, and they're not. I, it looks like a few people are actually gonna get cleaned up in the post Uber. Not too much happened with the actual players that were that were involved, but a lot is gonna happen for Apple after the fact. And uh, time is just ticking right off of that clock. Zero seconds left, and. Uh, if you're a syndicate, you just kind of got to sack in the best you can and hope for the best. A lot of sticks on that point, though. Yep, there's another round for Apple. Big play at the end. American uh, ran in. Teddy kited that Uber quite well. They had the combo behind house, ready for a last-minute push, and American came out of nowhere and got the medic pick, which is exactly what American brings to a team. There's just a pyro in a place where there shouldn't be a pyro, and bam, your med's dead. <laughs> That kind of that kind of sums it up, and I mean that also kind of sums up the way that that TMP, who was the pyro for Syndicate Reborn, um, played it too. It was just oh, there's Chris going in for a stab on the demo, but he uh, he kind of played the same way and just really aggressive pyro and and just killing people in, in places that you didn't expect him to be. But he's no longer with the team, and I wonder if that could be part of what uh, what the Syndicate struggles are right now, down 0-2 in this match. Yeah, definitely no doubt uh, TMP is going to be a, a presence that they're going to miss. He definitely draws eyes from the other team. He definitely makes a big splash, but uh, I do think they could benefit from a pyro that is maybe better able to protect their medic and kind of shore up that weakness. Right, uh, because just, I mean, exactly right, because that's exactly what we were kind of saying with, uh, with Teddy going down all the time. It's it's going to be important here for I mean the subsequent weeks to to make sure that that Teddy can stay alive. I mean that's that's kind of like the biggest part of the of Highlander, right? Just yeah, using your using your Ubers, playing off those advantages. And uh, point took a while to get capped on that mid. Back to actually what's what's going on right in front of us, but only 15 seconds taken off of the clock by Apple. And Syndicate Reborn is just going to get in a good position to take it. Uber ad, not too crazy. About a 10% in, in Syndicate's favor for Teddy. Um, and, I mean, Apple should just be able to wait and sit back on their Uber, assuming Brulee can stay alive, because here comes Spectec. And American tries his best, but Spectec able to get that final rocket using the black box may have helped him stay alive um, and ends up taking out Brulee, so... Uh, that's going to be really great right now if you're the Syndicate, because you should be able to at least shave a full minute off the clock before Apple can get in. Yeah, Teddy up on that Uber right now. Simon went for a sack bomb here, but he didn't get anything. Teddy's uh, full health, full Uber, and looks like the point is handily in the Syndicate's hands right now. 
Hands They're even going hands. for a forward hold on oh, Cliff. Yeah, and actually here's Exile putting some sticks down. Uh, looked like he might have had a chance for Burlay, and here is the Uber out of the Syndicate. Zoidy going forward with it. He's going to put some great damage out, but going to get caught out. He only managed to get smiles uh, in the fray there. So good job by by Simon and who's that drunk uncle for for Apple to protect and body block for their med to get out there. Yeah, the, a little bit of a questionable play by the Syndicate, in my opinion, there to try to forward hold. Uh, Zoidy and uh, Spec were not holding down the left side of the point, which you definitely want when you're having a forward hold. You want your flank to kind of hold your combo sides, uh, and they just kind of got wrapped there. Yeah, but either way, I mean, it's still going to, luckily for them, they, they Apple's not really able to capitalize on that mistake of an Uber, I guess you could try to say, uh, because Apple's actually going to wait a little bit too long for, to use theirs, and... It's going to allow Teddy to get his back in time. So now with under a minute left on the point, not too many great numbers here for uh, for Apple either. Here comes the Uber out of uh, out of Brulee, and it looks like Syndicate's just going to be able to stuff it completely. Nothing's going to happen for, for Apple on that Uber. And not too much, uh, not too much happening on the point. It looks like Blinks does get Chris, and... Uh, a little bit of time actually going in Apple's favor, but let's see if they're actually able to uh, end up taking it here. Yeah, if you're Apple, you're not really going to have your Uber in time to, to contest the point unless you want to go in the last five seconds or so. So now they really want to get some cap time, especially with those picks coming out of the demo and scout of the syndicate. But okay. I goes on a huge spree, demo, med, and heavy. Kai! He's gonna taunt after that. He absolutely just slayed through. Oh my god. He took out Brule. He took out Drunk Uncle. Uh, that's gonna give Syndicate a round. It's gonna put them on the board. Now we've got a 2 1. And I'm frozen. Are you frozen? That is another pause. Alright. I mean, each team gets one pause per half. They're just making use of the, the regulations. Yeah, American, uh, looks like American did use it, um, use it there. And it looks like Jaden told us in chat that Vinny, Vinny was lagging, uh, which is why the first pause happened. I, uh, don't know if maybe this is related to the same thing, and I know these, these teams are good friends, so I doubt American or anyone else on Apple would be mad if, if they had to use another, another pause just to help out a, a dear old friend and gamer. Oh, definitely. And uh, I, I know good teams have, have definitely been known to pause to discuss strats, so that could be something going on here. Another pause. Demo's HUD was done. Likely excuse, all right? You don't need a HUD to play the game. Let me tell you that much. Uh, but yeah, so we see Syndicate finally put a, put a roundup on the board, down 2-1 to one right now. And... Uh, Oh my god, American, shut up, bro. I'll fight you. Americans, Amer Americans being mean to me in chat, man. Um, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> E-words. We're, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to insult him uh, next time he makes a questionable play. I yeah. Think. I'm gonna probably just have to end up banning him from, uh, banning him from the, the chat, right? Yeah, just to be safe. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so Syndicate able to put a roundup on the board there, and you just kind of saw a completely dominant round by them. That's how they were gonna want to approach. Um, that's how they're gonna want to approach the, the next few rounds. Apple not able to kind of capitalize on one of the Syndicate's mistakes, and it ended up putting a, a huge advantage over in their favor. And with so much time off of the clock, and that kind of Uber that got stuffed, it, it was gonna end up in the Syndicate's favor. And They've just got to maybe do that a couple more times and try to piece something together if they're going to want any shot for this. Yeah, I think definitely uh, the Syndicate coming off with that round, they did a very good job of just playing the point and not necessarily playing for frags. Yeah, Viaduct can get so crazy and so hectic that sometimes teams just forget that you know you got that point in the middle of the map that you got to cap. What? There's no way. Yeah. And sometimes, would... sometimes you just can't just frag. You gotta, you gotta stand there and <laughs> and farm those cat points. 
I would love to pull up logs of what we got so far, but um, unfortunately, if I do, then we're gonna see. Uh, that would spoil. Spoil some I don't want... further rounds. Yeah, right. I don't want any. I don't want any spoilers. Interesting little thing here, Kainoa. Top scoring on engineer that round, and actually on the syndicate. Seems like he's top scoring right now. I'm not sure how many of those are telly points or if he's actually fragging that heavily, but kind of weird to see that out of an engineer. Right. And uh, Zoidy, I mean, Zoidy's got the 51 there as well, um, but I'm going to just chalk that up because Zoidy's a pretty terrible. Um, I'm just going to chalk that up to, to Mad Mill Kills. And I hope Zoidy's listening right now. But Smile's still doing a lot of work for his team, too, at the top there. I wish that I uh, we could see the. Uh, I wish that we could see the kills that everyone has right now, but it's not the way STV and, and these demos like to work. Yeah, well, you gotta you gotta think that probably Smiles and Zoidy are the respective top fraggers, uh, just because even though Kai has the most points, there's probably a lot of telly points there. Um, Smiles and Blinksy definitely doing work for Apple. Sniper and Scout on this map, huge classes demo as well. Simon not uh, as high on the scoreboard for his team as Exile, but I think his aggression was definitely playing into Apple winning rounds. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just the jump that he made, uh, what was it, in the first or second round, <laughs> directly into the house of Syndicate was just absurd. It was just really fun to see. And uh, I think they're, they're doing a really good job playing off of him right now. And, I mean... It kind of shows the way, too, with, with Zoidy and Smiles being towards the top of their teams right now. It's just, Smiles has been a huge, huge member of Apple so far, and Zoidy's been putting up great numbers for the Syndicate. Memes aside, I gotta hand it to him. He's been putting up uh, putting up some absurd numbers for them, so. Um, not surprising to see them at the top uh, of this game here. I'm sure either demo, although the points may be similar and low, like 30 and 37, probably a lot of more damage than frags, uh, just because of the nature of the class, and you got your scouts and, and soldiers cleaning up on it. Uh, but, yeah, Jaden, Jose, sorry, Jose19, um, probably probably going to see some more of that action going down here, too, with... Uh, with excellent stabs onto the medic. Now I'm almost I want to like skip forward, but that would take us out of sync here. So yeah, we're just kind of a, a victim. I can't imagine that the pause is gonna last too much longer than this. But uh, I, I definitely one thing I just wanted to mention about about the spies. Uh, I've been really impressed by Jaden's play so far. Oh, there goes the unpause. But yeah, I think he's just being kind of a huge thorn in the Syndicate side right now. I would like to see him uh, pull out that ambassador that he seems to be pretty good at, at using. I haven't seen that much ambi work out of either one of the spies. Right. And, uh, well, let's hope that we, we see some more of that. Actually, their smile is getting a, a good pick onto, uh, onto Exile at the start. Looks like Vinny wanted to answer back, but wasn't able to do it. There is... Oh my god, Smile's that's taking out nice Spectre. Yeah, that is a, uh... That's a good one. That's a, that's a highlight reel right there, and he's going to take care of spec deck over on the cliff. Uh, and this mid looks to be pretty good right now in the favor of Apple, just in terms of frags, but the positioning from... Oh, there's crits. Oh, we got crits? Yeah, crits, crits from Brulee, but not, not no frags coming off of that. Yeah, they're going to be able to take point just because they, I guess, scared them far enough off of it, but... Teddy now with 100% and a few players down over on the Syndicate side. They're going to be able to get in really easily over on the side. American doing a good job of stuffing the Uber, but Zoidy wants to go and chase down Brule, but uh, gets met by Blinks and Drunk Uncle, the heavy. Uh, we're going to prevent that. And here is Chris actually behind. He's got a revolver, so we won't see any ambient out of him, but uh, oh, well, isn't able to connect on that final shot to take out Smiles, who's going to escape with uh, about 30 health. Yeah, just a little bit too many teammates around. So Teddy is uh, 45, Brulee 85, so Brulee's got an advantage here, and she's still on crits. I definitely 
I would have liked to see the Syndicate try to hold on to that Uber rather than Ubering straight into a Pyro uh, when there, it was such an easy kite because now Brulee has the crits advantage, which I'm hoping that she's going to go try to use right now. Yeah, Simon's calling for the Medic, and they're just hanging out on that lower side of Cliff, going over to the point, and looks like they're get the crits get popped. Simon with a stick, oh, onto the, uh, onto the Cliff, but... An Uber is going to get used just in time by Teddy. He's not going to be able to connect. Actually, he does manage to get a couple frags that I, I kind of completely missed there because I was paying too much attention to Teddy. Uh, but Simon not able to get, I think, the frag that he was looking for. But there is Jaden. Says, I got your back, bud. I'll take him out for you. And there goes Teddy. Yeah, that's definitely a nice play. That was another another instance of Apple kind of not capitalizing off of the Syndicate, making a mistake there. Kind of a... Uh... Failing to go off of that 40 or so crits advantage. I'm not sure whether that was just a combo uh, miscommunication or what, but Jaden kind of saves the day with that backstab there on the Teddy. So we're looking at full crits advantage here. Yeah, they get they definitely get uh, get lucky off of the back of their spy. We might see another crits here, and actually here it gets popped out. Simon going to try to put some damage out. Going to hurt some people, but... Actually, there is Vinny to take him out, and they get stuffed on yet another crit. So we've had one one semi-successful crits, and I guess that's kind of oh, there is Vinny taking out Brule. Uh, good quick shot onto her. So uh, the yeah, crits is working play. out all right for them. But I'm wondering if now Brule, yeah, with with Brule being dead, maybe they'll switch back. Yeah, what what you said. I mean, that might be a big play at least in that sense. And actually, yeah, here's Brule up on uh, up on Uber. Drunk Uncle trying to get some cap points there with the uh, Fist of Steel, and yeah, he gets the cap. That's uh, that's pretty big. I mean, they Teddy is sitting now at 100%. Uh, to be honest, I don't know if he was at 100% while they were initially pushing. Their smile is getting the better of, uh, of Vinny this time. But uh, they weren't able to block the point with that Uber, but now they're going to use in to take the point. Uh, but it's going to put a good 40% add into Brulee's hands, so as long as Apple can can commit a little bit of time and make sure the medic stays alive, we might see kind of like those leapfrogging Ubers go down. Yeah, I definitely like to see the Fist of Steel being used in that way. I know that that kind of style of capping objectives with the Fist of Steel has been popularized recently uh, by Kresnik doing great work with those that item in Plat. You so mean Notorious UGC Hacker Kresnik? Yes, the one and only. <laughs> the nice one shot only. my smiles there. Yeah, he's on yeah, another five k. Um, and also I never, I didn't notice this, but Bunny is using the battalion's backup. He's not using Conch this round. Uh, so he's sitting with two two hundred twenty health and the black box, and a and a buff that has him take less damage. I wonder. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I can understand why you would want to use that against uh, against a team on Viaduct, and it's just interesting. I, I mean, personally, I haven't seen that happen. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know Silver Savages has been definitely putting the battalions back up on the map. Jaxter using that, especially on CP maps and payload maps. I haven't seen it really used on a Koth yet, just because uh, having the gunboats mobility on a Koth for soldier is so huge, but. Bunny's always been the kind of guy who can kind of play uh, his jump smart and make the most use of his health. He's a very good soldier on CP Steel, maps like that. So I think he can make it work. Yeah, and they do manage to make a, an Uber trade work on the point here too. Um, it looked pretty even in terms of the Uber fight itself, but the, uh, the frags went into Apple's favor, so they're going to be able to take a lot of time off of the point here. And now down to under 10 seconds, and Syndicate's got to figure out something to, to get some time here, but a lot of players ready to contest over on the Apple side. They could probably even give up the point, which they do, and as long as they keep Relay alive, they're going to be able to walk right in with uh, full Uber, as they uh, have right now. Yeah, Teddy up on Quick Fix. They're going to be looking to try to kite Apple's Uber here and get back in quickly, but there's a lot of cap time going on. And, wow. Yeah, not yeah, able Apple to. just stacked that point. So uh, that is going to be the first half here. Now I want to see if 
I can at least try to pull up just the first half logs. Um, so we can see those. And then we can get into some combined logs after we see the next half. But Apple up 3-1 right now. Um, and that last round seemed that it could have gone into... Um, it, it, it could have gone to Syndicate, but they're just not able to, to end up uh, end up pulling through here. Let's see. Yeah, definitely definitely very close game. Uh, rounds going for, to both teams, and even though it is 3-1, uh, much closer than that score suggests. The Viaduct is kind of a map where a really, really small difference in frags or a very small exchange can kind of result in, like, big 40 50 even a 40 50 seconds even a minute you know time swings because of how much you have to play off uber so just little things deciding deciding those those rounds going in apple's favor and uh here are the logs that we have for the first half um so it looks like kind of what we were saying smiles puts up 36 frags to 11 deaths 468 damage per minute. I mean, there, there's, there's all you really need to know uh, from it right there. Multiple five, ten. I think he didn't hit ten, but he hit like a nine and then hit an eight um, and a few five kill streaks in there. And I mean, it shows 36 and 11, four hundred, oh, like 475 almost DPM. It's crazy. Yeah, winning, winning the the counter snipes 12 to three. That is. That is decisive by Smiles there. Wow, twelve to three. I mean, uh, that's that's the kind of situation where if if you don't see that kind of dominance by Smiles in the counter snipes, uh, we could very easily be looking at a three to one for the Syndicate. I mean, that's just to to keep the other sniper down that often is is just amazing for your team as well as eight demo picks. So Smiles, I think, definitely by far the MVP on the server right now but Zoidy right behind him 32 frags definitely going big with with uh his scatter gun here and throwing a lot of mad milk <laughs> gotta, gotta take a look in the mad milk stats and yeah i mean Vinny, we saw him when he was uh when he was alive he was doing a lot of work so i think i think you have it absolutely right if if smiles doesn't do as well as he did in that sniper v sniper we could have easily seen Vinny being the one on the uh, the eight or nine Ks and and doing a lot of uh, doing a lot more fragging, but able to to play his role exactly the way you need it. It's it's Viaduct and they have a very good sniper and he and he kept them down. So, I mean, if you're if you're Syndicate Reborn, focus Smiles. I think is is the key to your victory because he ends up top damaging over their demo, obvious top fragging by a mile as well. Um, and I think I think that's that's the key to victory there. So why don't we get these uh, these second demos loaded up here? And it's probably going to be a little bit trickier to, to start up than the first half. But oh, another thing here in the stats is uh, drunk uncle near the top of the frags here on heavy. I think that's definitely something to note on a map where it's kind of hard to to deal a lot of damage as heavy because you're often forced to play on cliff. Beanie with eight deaths, that's that's tied with Brulee for the least deaths in the server, but Uncle definitely getting a lot more frags, so I think Uncle is is definitely having a big impact here, getting more frags than the other heavy. And Beanie's Beanie's playstyle, he's definitely alive a lot to deny a lot of things, but Uncle maybe being a little bit more aggressive could be helping Apple win some pushes. Yeah, it's a uh, it's definitely it's a tough position to play uh, as heavy. Like, do you want to be the damage dealer who's gonna tank uh, way too much damage and die a lot, or would you rather stay alive to protect your medic and, and maybe not put together, uh, you know, twenty five twenty five kill, uh, twenty five kill game? But like, Beanie was really close on his damage too. He was only about two hundred behind, so maybe Drunk Uncle was just there to to finish off more players or maybe syndicate was sacking in more um i don't know it's sometimes it's so hard to to infer those things off of logs but uh clearly having a really big impact for his team um so i'm loaded into the next demo i uh i paused it and rewound rewinded i don't know so i'm actually sitting here on tick number five let me know whenever you can set something 
up there, and I'll uh, I'll try to coordinate. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. Alrighty, guys. Give us one moment here. And we're off to the races. We got a little bit of pre-game, the pre-round in, but uh, we are coming out on next med. Looks like we switch sides here. And we have a 3-1, Apple versus Syndicate Reborn, and we're coming into our, our second half here. And looks like not too much starting right at the right at the beginning. A little bit of damage coming down. It looks like Spectek wants to go for in for a big bomb, but he's getting chased out. Uh, kind of just has to has to kite a little bit, but ends up going down over to uh, to Bunny, who's going to be able to take him out. And actually, a lot of players down for Apple right now. And Syndicate's going to be able to take this point easily. It looks like. Yeah, Zoidy just kind of ran in and uh, and took down Brulee and. I think uh, one other person as well, so that scout aggression really big on the mids. Yeah, Zoidy being another another impact plate. I just saw him switch to the atomizer, which I, I questioned. But you know what? He's the one making making plays and, and making frags, so um, you know whatever works for you. And uh, Teddy has his uh, his hundred percent brulee, as you mentioned, did go down on that mid. So uh, still working on building it up, but it looks like Syndicate won't contest with this Uber or may contest late. Yeah, mm -hmm. Apple actually uh, kind of making a play for the point there, but losing a lot of players. Yeah, I gotta, I, I gotta wonder because now Brulee is gonna be able to. Yeah, yeah. Um, now Brulee is getting closer to her Uber. Luckily, they are gonna be able to use. Use the Uber in time, but they kind of just gave Apple a free 30 seconds of cap time there. I don't know if maybe they just weren't ready and didn't want to, you know, have, be in a poor position to use. Uh, it's definitely hard to tell what's going on in in the mumble for these teams, obviously. But uh, but yeah, kind of a kind of a strange move. They give Apple some free time on the point. Smiles, <laughs> the craziest flick shot I've ever seen, but didn't actually connect. But. Uh, here we go, a minute off of the clock right now for, for Syndicate, and they managed to wipe almost everyone on Apple. They were left with only three alive. Yeah, the Syndicate not inclined to give Apple the point for free again there, and Perception going in for a play on the Medic takes Brule down, so it looks like Teddy's going to be up on a full Uber advantage. Yeah, and this this round's looking good. This is looking like their other victory. They they made plays for the medic. They they played together, and I mean they they are still letting you know you know making some mistakes. Apple is doing a good job of of going in and and taking care of them when when they happen. But I don't know if uh, it looks to be a little a little scary if you're Apple right now. Because your medic can't stay alive, Teddy's going to be able to sit with uh, another 100%. And right now the game is just in Syndicate's hands, and they are going to use Uber uh, right now, and should be able to take the point off of this, pushing a lot of players back over on the Apple side. Yeah, Brule did a good job of getting out with uh, her 60% Uber during that push, so... She's actually Hopefully... up on crits. Really? Yeah, so yeah. So it looks like we're going to see... Uh... Yeah, up on crits, 85%, so in a few seconds we should see a, a push from Apple coming in. I, I, wonder if, uh, I wonder if the Syndicate knows that this is crits. Chris 18 is a big comm spy, so uh, I'm guessing that, uh, that the Syndicate knows this is coming in. Here it goes, off of China. And Not getting much with this. Yeah, it looks like you, you kind of called it exactly right. They were backing out really early whenever they saw that uh, Simon was getting aggressive, so... Not really going to be able to get anything off of that crits, um, and Perception doing a good job of reflecting back some of the sticks that were coming that way. Smiles taking out Exile on the point, but it uh, looks like Syndicate doesn't want to be want to be ignored right now. They are going to commit the bodies onto the point and take it, and they're still going to sit with a uh, with a solid a minute add on the clock. And now with 100% Uber, and actually Brule goes down to Perception, so. A uh, good play right there from from the sub or the the maybe new pyro for for Syndicate. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the situation is there, but uh, Perception definitely a good pyro. I played with him uh, back in season 16, and 
I, I think he could definitely bring some of the stability to the TS combo that they were missing with TMP. And as long as he, I mean, if he makes makes plays like that, and I mean, we saw him get in on Berlay a few times there. And again, he flew over the point and picked the meta. <laughs> so kind of playing, playing that way that you want to, I guess they're kind of used to, but maybe in a little bit more passive role, and it helps him out greatly in this round with, with three meta picks, I think we saw. Um, and it looks like with a few more players yeah, filtering in, but that's going to be the round. So now we have a 3-2. Uh, a uh, one more from We got from a game Syndicate. on our hands. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, we do. And we're coming into our next mid here. Uh, mid number six, is it? Uh, interesting here on the rollout. Simon's been getting the mid first by far the past few mids, but he, he chose to take a little bit of a more passive role here. And uh, he is fully buffed, dealing some damage and not dying, so it might be a little bit of a smarter rollout for him. Yeah, either scout actually going down right at the beginning. Uh, to the enemy snipers, so the snipers take the scouts out. There's going to be no no flank play in that sense for either team, but it looks like right now uh, Apple just has a better positioning on the point. They're able to force some players out, um, and both demos are actually dead as well. So a lot of a lot of fragging power out of the fight early, but Apple with better positioning able to uh, to take over the point. Oh, Teddy drops to Bunny there behind point. Oh, that's huge. That is absolutely huge because Brule is going to be able to sit at 100. And, um, I wonder if they're going to contest this. They don't have a lot of players, um, but maybe they just use to defend the point. And actually, that is exactly what they're going to do. They wait yeah, for a few Yeah, definitely good on the Syndicate to get the force out there. They're in a really bad position if they don't manage to pop that Uber. Yeah, and I mean, it, I kind of... I, I personally am not a fan of the solo Uber on a demo, but Simon actually does a really good job with it at that time, getting a few picks, hitting a nice pipe um, onto, I, I forget who it was, but putting out putting out some good damage. Demo Uber sometimes can get really, uh, as a solo, can, can get really scary uh, with it just not being able to put out the, the necessary amount of damage if a lot of players are surrounding you, but Simon does, a, does do a good job with that one. And uh, defense the point. Yeah, Bunny with a big bomb there uh, over the top of Cliff. Uh, just kind of misses the rockets by a little bit. But uh, Teddy definitely exposed. But Bunny could not take advantage of it there. And we do see the Uber actually came out of the Syndicate. They do use to take the point, but Brule was long gone there. So it's actually going to throw a big ad over in their favor. Brule now at 100%, and she's got her demo, she's got her heavy. They might wait for her for another player or two to, to get into the, the fray here before they're going in. And actually, they do have blinks with them, so maybe we're going to start seeing the push with the... And here it is, with the point being edged. Yeah, Simon is in deep right now, maybe a little too deep, getting isolated by Perception and Beanie here, taken down, but Apple does get the point. Yeah, and they actually managed to take out... Um, Simon actually managed to take out Teddy and Exile, so uh, he he trades his life for for two big picks over on over on the other side. I mean, they're gonna benefit from a quicker respawn now with the point no longer in their favor. Uh, Syndicate will benefit from that. So it looks like Exile will be able to contest a little bit faster than Simon. But I wonder with the Uber ad still over in Apple's favor, if Syndicate can actually end up pulling through here. Yeah, it looks like about a 30% Uber ad for uh, Apple, but Syndicate does get a nice cap off. I think that's that's a big thing of uh, a big factor in teams d that do well on Viaduct. They know when they can kind of sneak a point cap for free. Right. And actually, Zoidy there goes in for a big play on the med, and actually, oh my god, um, we just saw, I, I can't even, I'm going to try to try to catch up with everything that happened. Zoidy went for a play onto Brule, wasn't able to get it, but Perception came through and took her out uh, to clean up on the rest of Zoidy's damage, but then Bunny bombed in and took out Teddy. So we saw a, a really quick turn of events there. That could have ended really well for Syndicate, and they end up trading their med there. And it looks like now Apple's going to be able to start edging the point. Yeah, and that was actually a hair away from being a force and not a medic kill there. Brulee was 
almost up on that Uber. So, uh, so heads up by uh, by Syndicate sacking in, and I guess they just didn't have uh, with their with their pyro roaming, or or maybe someone wasn't able to pick up Bunny. Just just comes in and makes a huge play for his team, and I think honestly made might have saved them this round, but we don't know just yet. I mean, a minute for either team, Syndicate able to take down take a good amount of time off the point there, but. There is a lot down right now for uh, for Syndicate. And Uber gets forced out by spec deck here over on uh, over on the point. Yeah, Teddy's up on that 100% Uber. Definitely tempted fate there, uh, staying in to peak smiles, try to arrow him, but was not punished. He's up on that Uber and the Syndicate is ready to, to push onto this point. Ready to rumble. I mean, this this push could uh, could win them the round, could lose them the round, uh, depending on what goes down. And I mean, they're getting the getting the time on the point right now. What's going to be crucial is building and keeping Brule off balance. Like, if they can kill Brule here, that should be it. But I, I I mean, I mean, what do we got? I this is this is really big. This round is going to come off a of, come down to who's able to to make the better play on the medic and. Syndicate with an uber disadvantage. It, everything's on their front. Yeah, spec deck bombing in here, but it looks like he's probably going to get denied. Yeah, Brule does stay alive. I really... Chris sacked for the scout there. Uh, uber does get popped off here. Apple is going to try to take back the point. But I really would have liked to see Chris try to stay alive and make a play on the medic. Because in the grand scheme of things, that scout pick is not really going to matter and Brule's Uber just took the point there, and Apple is in a very good position. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a lot of players right before that Uber push sacked in for, for Brule. Um, sorry, sacked in for Brule, and that is going to end up taking out the taking out the game. That was for 4-2 uh, uh, for Apple. But yeah, a lot of players for, for Syndicate kind of jumped in right at the end just before Brule had their Uber. I guess the idea was to go in and, and try to force it out or uh, or drop her, but instead they end up just feeding a bunch of kills over onto the over onto the side of Apple, and they're able to uh, to take it through and and win this. Watch it. Let's uh, yeah. get some combined logs. Yeah, those sack plays at the end are definitely a double-edged sword because. If you make the play and you drop the medic or kill them before they have Uber, then you're giving your team a huge, a huge chance to to win that round. But if you die without forcing or killing the medic, then you know you're really impacting your team's chance to to get time on the point and and extend the the game. So definitely yeah. the right play in my opinion to go for those sacks. I think that the round was lost uh, if they didn't go for them and make them. But uh, just didn't seem to work out. Apple did a good job of fighting that and playing really near house, where she can kind of run back under China and and not get not get exposed too much. So good positioning there out of the Apple's combo. Let's see what we got. I have the combined logs up here. Let me switch to that over on the uh, over on the screen. Um, and let's see what we got. Smiles gonna take the take the kills. So he keeps up, I think he had 36 in the first half um, in four rounds and, and adds on another 15 here. To, for 51, he's going to round things out and still be top dog. 51 frags and top on the top on the damage too. It actually looks really similar to what we saw on the, um, on the first half log. Smile up top, uh, Zoidy coming in second there, putting out some, some great damage numbers and, and frags as well. Vinny, Vinny's still high up there, 41 frags, not not too far behind Smiles, but uh, considerably less damage. And I think, actually, let's take a look at that Sniper v. Sniper again. Yeah, 12 to 8, wow. Vinny definitely able to make up some ground. Smiles looks like never killed him yeah. in the second half. Because it was 12 to 3 the first time, so Vinny, Vinny definitely closed the gap there. Um... Goes from twelve to three to twelve to eight, so I mean that was probably a big part on how they ended up taking that uh, taking that first round in that victory there. But 
I'm not able to to keep things going because here, I mean, there it is. I, I love that you can see the round by round kills with logs. Vinny actually top frags in the first round that they won um, in the second half, and and the next one here comes Smiles and Drunk Uncle to put down ten frags each, and um, I mean that that'll do it. I mean when it when it comes down to it, kind of like what you said, maybe maybe that definitely was the right play um, because they're probably end up being gonna get screwed. Uh, with with the Uber ad so far in um, in their favor because even if the Uber gets used, you gotta wonder if they're gonna be able to commit the bodies to protect the point really. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely just a game of inches here. Very close. One thing, uh, one thing I do want to point out here, my boy Perception topping his team. On medic picks as Pyro. <laughs> no way. That's 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 what you want to see. Four medic picks actually ties Jaden as well, who who put a lot down. I think both medics actually died the same amount of times too, thirteen times. And Perception with four, Jaden with four, Simon with three, Spec Deck with three. So similar stat lines there. Um, but the fact that the Pyro got in, um, kind of kind of rivaled Americans play style and I think rivals Americans play style more so than TMPs because he kind of played both sides of, of being in your face as well as uh, making sure he's protecting the combo yeah American definitely good at at uh, you know staying kind of passive and denying the spy and then getting aggressive at, at the good times whereas TMP is kind of aggressive at all the times <laughs> And uh, Percy is definitely good at that kind of hybrid playstyle as well. And look at the overall frags too. Um, 242 to 237. Like five frags was the, really the only difference between those two teams. Uh, which is not much, even in the slightest. And actually the damage was slightly in uh, Syndicate's favor, getting an extra 1400. Which again, not that much um, to, to have lost, so... It was it was definitely a really tightly contested game between these two. Despite uh, despite the four two, it could have easily been a four uh, a four three because that last round was so close. We could have we could have definitely seen a, a tie break around right at the end. Yeah, absolutely, definitely a a fun game to watch, and I think we'll be seeing good things out of both of these teams uh, in the coming few games and in the playoffs. Yeah, so uh, now what we've got going on, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of, a little bit of a plug. Um, next uh, next week, we're trying to decide what to end up casting, and that that's between probably there's a few options that I put up on the UGC forums because I know all of you nerds like to check that out. Um, and there are two different games. One is Apple and Jeebus, and I mean, we just saw Apple play right now. One of them is Syndicate and Papa's Peddlers, and we just saw Syndicate play right now. Um, the other option would be for Social Justice Warriors and Shadow Ball. So um, definitely cast your vote in there uh, because it's going to make a pretty big decision on, on to, as to what to cast because, I mean, whatever whatever people want to see is what we're going to do. And kind of kind of like what I mentioned at the beginning, like why I decided to do this cast is there were so many great games this week. It it, uh, it almost seemed rude, I, I, it, maybe not rude, but insulting to to not do them well. So I wanted to make sure that we can get through to see some of the other good games, and I think we saw a really good one here. So um, definitely check that out on the UGC forums um, and follow if you're not already following. If you want to know uh, when the next cast is going down or anything like that, and but I think uh, I think we might be set here i mean vipa any any last thoughts uh no just that it was uh it was fun giving uh casting a try and seeing uh i have friends on both teams and it was it was fun to see them play and and you know do their thing yeah so thanks a lot guys for joining us uh feel free like i said to vote on that poll and uh and hit that follow button It'd be really appreciative and uh we will catch you next time